All right, hello ladies and gents. Hello squirrel. Hope everybody is well today. Coming up on Father's Day. I'm gonna try something out with you guys today. Hopefully works out. Got a, uh, we picked up one of these single burner propane stoves. And we are going to bullet some agua and have a beef stroganoff with our new little stainless steel kettle. So I recently went camping and I didn't record any of it. And it was all for Father's Day. You know, we went camping a couple days, cooking, having a good time. You can't really always record that stuff you know a lot of it i'm learning this i'm new to i'm new to propane and propane accessories they're all new to me so i've been learning with cooking on one of them two burners and I, eventually i want to get one of those legit boils or whatever it is one of the smaller ones and stuff so hopefully I can make that happen. I can get this little kit set up here and uh, get everything put together and see what you guys think about it. I need to get some chairs and I need to get everything put together. And you ready to try this thing? Yeah, I guess we yeah. try it. Right. See what it tastes like. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'll let you have at it. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll see have, you. You have a good day. Yeah, have a good day. Have a good day as well. Well? Well? It looked like it was enough water. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it probably could have used a little bit more. So I was probably right. Yeah. All right, here you go. You want to try? Let's try it first, huh? Yeah. I get to be the... Wrong, sweat bee. You're the guinea. Oh. I don't know if you guys might have missed this, but it all just fit right back in the box. Oh, it's hot. Let's see. This does look a little bit like dolphin in there. No, the bits. Yeah. Probably, probably had ample time to cool. It maybe still be hot, though. Them packages are pretty good. Did you get any meat? Mm-hmm. I mean, if it was a survival situation, I'd definitely eat it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of the ones we've had, what do you think of this one in comparison? Okay, so compare this one to the one we ate in Florida, the Southwest one. Yeah. It was good. The southwest one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was very good. But I'm not a very big noodle person. I'm not evil. No, I'm not either, but stroganoff is one of the noodles that, like beef stroganoff mm -hmm. is one of the few that I will eat noodles. Mm -hmm. So. I, I think that it's a lot of noodles compared to, like, noodle to meat ratio. You know what I mean? It's a lot of noodles. Yeah. <clears throat> but, I mean, yeah. Most 12 grams of protein. End of the day, you know, of like out working in the woods and stuff, to eat one of these? Oh, yeah. Super, They'd probably be... Super easy. Super filling, probably. Yeah. The noodles alone. Yeah. But, I mean, it's all right, though. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can sit right here right now and eat the whole thing. No, I couldn't. But it's two servings. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is something you and I would just sit and pass back and forth until it was gone. Mm -hmm. If we was to camp and, and eat them. Yeah. I think it could have used that little bit of water though. Yep. Just cause the meat, I think, mm -hmm. didn't have enough water to- Absorb. To fully absorb. Yep. But, this is a lot of really good burnable calories. In my experience working, 
even if you was to stop and have this for lunch and it was hot, the noodles would probably sit just right with the meat when it's like noodle to meat ratio. I'd say the noodles would sit just right in a burning calorie situation like uphill. Mm -hmm. That's what's it noodles, you know what I mean? It's the noodles alone. A lot of carbs yeah. and stuff. And, and, yeah, noodles and carbs, yeah. It's like I was trying to explain to Landon about like the bread, you know? Uh, it breaks down. Or I was explaining it to Marcus, yeah, you know, the bread is going to break down to sugar. Syrup yeah. is already sugar. Yep. So Waffles, which are bread, yeah, sweet breaks bread. down to sugar with the fruit you ate, which is natural sugar, you know, yep. not a man-made, a processed sugar. Hey, I give this one definitely, I will say though, all of Mountain House's foods have been decent. Yeah, the Southwest one though was really good. Did Southwest the corn skillet. And stuff in it? Yeah. yeah, it was good. Now, in comparison to the hash browns from the O'Meals, what would you compare the Southwest skillet and the O'Meals? Uh, hash brown, spicy hash browns, because they were consistency got me on them. Mm -hmm. They were gross consistency, yep. but they they had a really good hash brown flavor. flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if they could get the flavor and the texture. Right there. The crunchy potato mm -hmm. fridays. Mm-hmm. But they weren't. They were like... It was like... Uh, the frozen hash browns you can buy. It was like mashed potatoes that aren't fully mashed. Yeah. It's weird. Is what it reminded me of. Like stamped cookie cutter hash browns. You know? And we just had a conversation with our neighbor. What? That was 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, talking to Mark? Yeah, that's 15 minutes. Yeah, so, with that being said, we just had a conversation with our neighbor to, to go ahead, get you a couple bites. One more. We had 10 or 15 minutes to talk to the neighbor, and it's still hot. Mm -hmm. This bag has literally, and now it is hot out here, but there was also, at the time he was sitting here talking, there was a constant wind. I was worried about it getting cooled off before we could finish this. No concern. But overall, you know, Mark probably seen this up there. He was like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and talk to these kids who they're doing. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's probably mm -hmm. what he was doing up there. These kids that are doing outside today. And I don't mind why my mind always reverts to that, that anybody that's older than us looks at us as kids. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so what do you think about this thing? Oh yeah, I really like it. This was super handy. Super handy. But which I've talked about it, you know, we've yeah. both talked about it before in the past and we just never got one. Yeah, we got the bigger one because of the convenience for camping. This will stay in the truck for fishing and for all kinds of other stuff. What I wouldn't mind doing is using this to make some bannock. Yeah, the bread. Make, yeah, they make that flour bread, just flour and water. Mm -hmm. and a little bit of oil in the pan. I think that's something that I would like to be able to master because I can make like bannock pancakes and we would just have to have a jar of syrup. I wonder if that's an Ozark Trail skillet there. Oh, you know it is. <laughs> you know it's a Ozark Trail skillet. I'm happy to be here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. I want to say happy Father's Day to everybody. A lot of this video was just sitting around talking about being a dad probably put someone talking to the neighbor in there about being a dad and hopefully you guys have enjoyed I give this I give this thing right here a 10 out of 10 super handy these things are indispensable there uh, if anybody knows of any way that I can have some of these that are handy that are refillable these say don't refill I feel like that's uh, not very environmentally friendly if I have to use one of these every single time without being able to have it refilled now, if that's the only thing that I have, understandable. And uh, a little pot. This was not an Ozark Trail. This was a brand that I can't remember. This was seven bucks. A little seven dollar pot it was perfect for the water and it will probably stay with this because you could also make fish soup. We're gonna try that. I've never had fish soup. So the next time we catch something that's edible, we might try that. Like I said, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Sid Survival Guide. See you guys. <laughs>